Welcome back. It is Mr. Benja, and I have a question. Are you okay with change? Because if you aren't, you will probably suffer. And that's what I want to talk about today, this Thoughtful Thursday. And, you know, as we usually do here on Thursdays, we kind of slow down, chill out from the week, relax, think about where we've gone, where we've come, where we're going, and most importantly, where we are in the moment. I know I call these Thoughtful Thursdays, but ironically, I don't put too much thought beforehand into Thoughtful Thursdays. I want to be thoughtful about the moment and mindful of what's happening. And just taking in everything that's been going on. And that kind of gets me set for tomorrow, which is the Freestyle Friday, where we just kind of talk about whatever and have a little fun. But for today, I do want to talk about this realization that we've been forced to have. And that is the realization that times are changing quickly and that we as creators must change in response. And are you okay with that? I've talked about various ways of adapting and adjusting to the current environment in terms of creating new things and building and continuing forth. But how does that play out? How do you think about that? And we'll get into those answers in a little bit. Very quickly, though, I would like to just say thank you all for the likes, the feedback that I've been getting on this new format, the updates that you've been sending me, following in my on my email list. Thank you for subscribing on YouTube. Thank you for checking out the website and thank you for listening to these. I'm still working it out. I'm not trying to do a a show where I have a couch and a bunch of people sitting around talking. I'd rather just do a continuous discussion with the people, with the creators out there. If I ever need to do a deep dive, I will do so, but for the moment, this is what we're doing. And let me know. It might need to change in the future. Speaking of what we're talking about, right? Might need to change, and I'll, I'll need to be okay with that. So let me just get back to it. And if you're a little tense right now, be sure that you're doing your breathing properly. Be sure that you're taking the time to relax, slow yourself down a bit taking those deep breaths in through the nose, holding for a little bit, and then breathing out through the mouth. Breathing in quickly through the nose, holding for a bit, and slowly exhaling through the mouth. We need in the habit of doing that, stopping, breathing properly. Or breathing, I shouldn't say properly, but breathing to manage your current state. You can really find yourself in a better place. I suggest you all look up some breathing exercises, some proper research on the topic from any meditation gurus, from physical therapy practitioners, from your Buddhist types maybe have had some training. There are a lot of different ways to look into that, but I do suggest it. It's a part of my meditation practice and one of the things that keeps me ready for change, ready for moving along with the winds of progress that we're in right now. As I said, that's what I want to talk about today. So. Are you okay with change? This is an interesting question because a lot of people say they want change. They say they want something different. 
They say, give me this change that I want. But in reality, a lot of us are uncomfortable with things moving the way they are. Because along with change comes unpredictability, feelings of being alone, concerns about being ostracized. You may have recollections of being abandoned. Change might make you feel ignorant or dumb. You're just not getting what's going on, maybe. Or you don't know the new landscape that you're in. Change brings along a certain amount of discomfort just by its very nature. And that's something that you have to get down and be okay with. Now, the change people usually want that they're talking about is they want to change for the better and they want something bad to go away. And that's understood. Something bad is happening. Something is causing you pain or distress. You want that to change. You want that to go away. And you can work towards that. But the change we're talking about right now is the changing of the tides, the changing of the, the winds, the changing of the sands underneath our feet. Right now we're in a new era, a new era of technology, of social connection, of mental awareness, and collective and a collective emotional shift. I don't think that's anything groundbreaking, but something that should definitely be thought of and considered. Something that should be looked at. Because with any of your frustrations or or feelings or your current ways of looking at things. You're going to need to understand that where we are right now is a place that has a very rapid change built into it. The current times have change ingrained in their motion, in their revolutions. And can you deal with that? Somebody asked me what the difference was in, in terms of technology from this era, from the previous era, let's say back from when the internet started to the information age, to now this new social media connected information age, and maybe the automation age or the AI age, whatever you want to call what we're going into next. Someone asked me what was different fundamentally about where we've been in the past decade or two in relationship to where we've been way before. And we really are in a different place. What we have going on right now what we have going on right now is a landscape that's able to be changed digitally. So what does that mean to us? This means that we can change things literally at the speed of light, close to the speed of thought. You type something in a computer, it changes that thing immediately. Some files get updated, it changes that thing immediately. A profile is removed from a social media network, it changes the landscape immediately. Something goes viral, it changes the landscape immediately. And not only does it change it immediately, it changes it immediately and not necessarily permanently, which means you can go back to it or alter it or add to it or multiply it or divide it. 
This is a fundamental realization that technology companies had back in the day where they realized that the cost of going from one person's information profile in a folder, the cost of creating a new user is minuscule. It's the act of literally copying a data folder and adding a new name to it. Social media engineers figured this out early. Developers figured this out very early. It's not like a car, right? If one person had a car, there was large difficulty in creating another car. It's like, well, that guy's got a car, good for him. But what about her? She doesn't have one. So now you have to go build one for her. Well, now she has a car and he has a car. Good for those two. What about the entire state of Wyoming? How, how are they going to get cars? It's a whole process, right? But now you have this exponential change. Where if one person gets access to a, an app or a program or something digital, and there really isn't much keeping everybody else from having that thing. And this can be cause for massive changes. Where we start living in a world that's much more defined by ideas than physical things. Now, while if you listen to my podcast earlier, I still make it very clear that we live in a physical world. But how has that physical world changed when so many of the ideas, so many of the ways of looking at things, so many of the angles and viewpoints in this world and identities even are based on ideas, thoughts, bits, these very amorphous ethereal concepts. We're in a strange place right now, and I don't think a lot of us have realized how strange it is because of that. The physical world is still quite basic, and it works in a lot of good ways. But adding on this digital identity layer, this digital persona layer, this digital facade, it really alters the landscape because now the change that we're talking about can happen at an instant and you have to be okay with it. For those of you who may remember, when Facebook came around, we went from Friendster to MySpace to Facebook in a very short amount of time. And the only thing people had to do was change their idea of what they thought they should be doing with their computer and their social interactions online. Changed very quickly. Fast forward to now, when someone says there's this new application called ChatGPT, it'll change everything. And suddenly everyone's on it. It can come out of the blue. You've already got the phone. You've already got the Wi-Fi or internet set up. You've already got the data connections, data streams. So now where are you? All you have to do is flip a switch in your head and say, I want this to be the thing now. And if every, everyone or enough people do that in mass, suddenly you've got a very interesting set of interactions and dynamics going on in the world. TikTok, another recent app, came very popular, changed things massively quickly. We didn't think short form video was a thing until suddenly it was. And it was quickly adopted by, by the likes of Snapchat, which kind of had already had it. 
was adopted by Facebook, Instagram, and a number of other little apps. YouTube being the latest big one. It was just an idea that this is how we want to do things now. So as a creator, a creator of your life, a creator of your landscape, are you okay with this? Are you okay with being able to have things wiped out in a matter of moments? Are you okay with that unpredictability? And how do you adjust? It sounds daunting, but to my water analogy, as I often like to use, you can't or shouldn't get upset with the water. The tides could change, the winds could adjust, the storm could show up at any time. You don't know how the water is going to behave, and you shouldn't try to force it to behave in a certain way. You can to a limited extent, I suppose. But what are you going to do when the water doesn't go your way? You will have to adapt. And I can guarantee you that something's going to happen that you'll have to adapt to. And you'll have to learn how to adapt to it quickly. Can you adjust? Yes, you can. So with all this adjustment and all these changes and all these shifts in the environment, how do we stay on path? How do we maintain our integrity as creators? How do we maintain our message if the medium is continually changing? And I should say the mediums, plural, are continually changing. Is what we're doing, does what, does what we create have any meaning? if the medium keeps changing? Valid question. And the answer is, I almost said sadly, but the answer is, for lack of a better term, branding. Deciding who you are, even in spite of the numerous changes, the numerous platforms, the numerous outlets, programs, apps. Somewhere in there, you still got to maintain who you are. If you paint butterflies, does it matter that your butterflies are on TikTok? Does it matter that your butterflies are on YouTube? Does it matter that your butterflies are spoken about in audio form? doesn't matter that your butterflies are holograms. And this is the true essence of art, right? Being able to have that human expression regardless of the medium. I remember I first saw some Lichtenstein. Not my first saw. Yeah, 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 it was my first time seeing one. My first time seeing a Lichtenstein painting. And it kind of took me back. I was like, okay, this is how... His work is, I've seen it online. And then I saw his evolution into, into the physical format. I saw a sculpture and I thought to myself, hmm. I always wondered what a Lichtenstein sculpture would look like. I actually never took the time to look one up. This is incredible. And then I saw watercolors by him. I saw outdoor installations by him. And this was his artistic vision expressed in any different medium. And I think that's what we're going to have to start, start doing. For all this time, we've been trying to control the landscape, control the medium, control the actual experience. And that works well enough in the physical world. But when things are more digital, more idea-based, more 
more fluid in their expression. How do you as an artist, a creator, developer, designer, how do you come across? Does your personality still shine through? Just because everyone else is doing one thing, do you suddenly do that and get marked a sellout? What, what changes? Let's say you've been writing comic books all your life. And suddenly someone says, I like this comic book. I like what you've been doing. I like your art. How would you like to develop a, a live action stage play? And you're thinking to yourself, I'm not going to have any effects. I'm not going to have people reading. I'm not going to be able to do certain things and the, everything changes. Once the medium has changed, suddenly everything changes. And people have fought that. They'll stick to their guns and say, I draw, I don't, I draw and I write. I don't orate and I don't stand on stage and I don't set up plays. What do you think this is? Steve Rogers, the musical? It's an interesting thing we have to deal with, right? But that's where we are right now. And I think by embracing these current winds of change, by embracing ourselves as opposed to the medium, I really think that we could start moving forward in different ways. This is something I've been doing and I've been trying to deal with figuring out my personal brand, my way of expressing myself, my way of doing things, so that no matter where anybody sees me, they're like, there he is. That is Benja. Hopefully that comes across. Hopefully we can use this to embrace technology a little better and start to understand each other a little better, start to work with each other better, start to create a better world together. I'm looking forward to it, actually. I'm looking forward to these changes. All these software tools seem daunting. Seems like a hassle to have to learn new tools, learn new ways of doing things. But maybe it isn't so much of a hassle. Maybe it's just that I need to let go of the idea that things are physically stuck and I can flip a switch and move those ideas into a new medium. Maybe I need to let go of the idea that I make this and start embracing more of I am this. And no matter what happens, I'll just be able to create where I am, wherever I am, whenever I am. And maybe things will just work out better. So I hope that made some type of sense to you. If you have any questions, comments. I definitely like to hear them because the times are changing. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to be able to adapt? And what's your plan and what's your feeling on the matter? Are you okay with it? Let me know if you have any problems, any issues, any any stumbling blocks. I actually want to hear what people are going through. I know I'm going through my own set of things. I'm just curious as to how other creators are dealing with these constant winds of change. From politics to science to social interactions to technology to food to health to religion to sports, entertainment, etc. Finance. I think you can do good. I think I can too. So let's do it together. That's going to do it for me. Thank you all for interacting with us. Take what you've learned, apply it here and where appropriate. And just remember to create something good. See ya.